Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and today we are going to work up the smallest version of my new pattern, the On Point Poncho. This poncho is super cute. It comes in a variety of sizes from newborn all the way up to 4XL. The child sizes are free on the blog on Heart Hook Home and the adult sizes are available on Ravelry and on Etsy. So what I recommend for this companion video for this pattern is to print off or have your pattern size handy for the size that you are making. Mine, I'm going to be making the newborn size because it works up the quickest for video purposes. Um, so you'll want to take the size that you're making and just substitute your stitch counts for the stitch counts that I'll be using today. The general concept for the entire pattern for all of the sizes is the same, um, generally speaking. So just make sure that you watch your row numbers and your stitch counts and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's discuss our materials real fast. You are going to want to make sure that you have a size three lightweight yarn. This could be um, anything, a DK yarn, size three, baby weight, anything like that would be perfect. I have made some in worsted weight yarn as well. Um, if you wanna do that, that's fine, but you need to make sure that you check your gauge with the hook as recommended. So the hook size that I am using with this lightweight yarn is going to be a J, which is a six millimeter hook. I've gone ahead and done the chain because I hate chaining on video, it takes forever. So I've gone ahead and made this chain to be ready to work into. So the very first row that we do is going to be around the neck portion. So this is going to be the V at the top of the neck. And then we're going to work our way down the shoulders and then down the rest of the body and then add the fringe to the bottom. So for the newborn size, we are going to start with 42 chains. So chain your beginning chain for the size that you're making. The most important thing here as far as the chain goes is that you want to make sure that your chain is not twisted. So you want to make sure that when you um, join it to form a circle that your chain isn't all um, twisted over on itself because that will look funky um, when we go to finish row one, right? So I'm going to hold the right side here flat and I'm just going to make sure that I'm pulling this through and that nothing is twisting. Looks good. I'm going to hold it like this. So if I hold this out straight, um, the chain is not twisted over on its, or around itself. So now in order to join, we're going to join these two together so that we have a circle. What I like to do is I take my left hand and I flip it over like this, put that yarn down, and then I find that back bar for that first chain and I'm going to slip stitch into the back bar here, right here. And we're just gonna slip stitch that together. I'm gonna pull the tail from my beginning through this way. And now I'm just gonna slip stitch together. All the way through that 40 second chain. So now I've got this circle and this is going to be the neck opening, okay? I'm gonna leave my tail out of the way as much as I can. The very first thing that we're going to do is we are going to chain two and we are going to place three double crochets in the very first chain. So in that same hole where I just joined, we're gonna place three double crochets. So one, and two, and three. So that is in your very first chain, and that is for all sizes, okay? All of these are gonna be for all sizes, unless I say otherwise. So now you'll notice that your second chain right here, I'm going to be going into the back bars for all of these because I feel like it looks nicer in the end. Um, this second chain right here is going to be a little bit harder to get into since you put three into this one. So you're just going to fit this guy in here and put a double crochet in that next kind of tight little chain. Okay, so there is your first double crochet, right? after you did your first three in that first chain. So now you're going to double crochet in as many stitches as it says for your size and you're gonna end up over here where the left my left fingers are. So for this size, for the newborn size, I'm going to count this as number one and I'm going to go until I get to 19 double crochets. So that'll be one and here's two. I'm just gonna place these double crochets in the back bar of these chains until I have 19 total, or as many as your size indicates. 
So I'm going to go all the way to 19. See how many I've got. When you're counting your stitches here, you're never going to count the first three because these, these are counted separately. So we did three in the first and then we're going to do 19 or however many for your size. So let me count these out. 13, 14, 15, let me get to 19, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And so now once you get those stitches um, completed and you're all the way over to the left side over here with your hook, you're going to place two double crochets in the next chain here one, two, and then in the next you're going to place three double crochets in this next chain. So this three right here is going to be the center point in the front of your card or your poncho, poncho, poncho cardigan, poncho, whatever. <laughs> so we've got three stitches here. Now it's important for the rest of the pattern to place a stitch marker in that centermost stitch. So the one that we just did, I'm going to place a stitch marker in the centermost of those three stitches. Okay. So now we are going to mirror what we did on the other side. So in the very next stitch, we're going to put two double crochets in that very next chain. And now we're going to double crochet in the rest of these stitches, which there should be 19 because we have 19 over here. We're going to have 19 over here to keep things even. So go ahead and do your double crochets all the way down the rest of this chain. That should be number 19, so I'm going to go ahead and count, especially at the end of this first row, because that would be pretty awful if we started out with the wrong number of chains, right? So I'm going to make sure that after this two that I have in that same stitch that I've got 19 for the rest of the row. So 3, 6, 10, 13, 16, 19. Perfect. So now what I've seen most comments made in the Heart Hook Home Crochet community on Facebook or emails that I've had questions about is this next part right here. So we are going to place two double crochets in the same space as your starting stitches. So it kind of looks like you're having to go way the heck over here and you are. So we're going to place two double crochets in that same space. See that hole where those three double crochets are? We're going to put two more right there. So we're going to go one and then two and then we're going to join to the top of the first actual double crochet. So here's your fir or third, second, and first. So I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top of that double crochet. Perfect. So now we are done with row one. Make sure you count your stitches. For the newborn size I should have 50 and I'm pretty confident that I do so I'm going to continue on I do recommend counting your stitches at this point so now what we're going to do for the next however many rows until we get to the armhole row um, and that changes for every size that you make it's going to be a different number but you're going to do this next row that many times as many times as it says so to start a new row you are going to chain two and you're going to turn to where you're looking at the back side okay and we're going to place three double crochets in the same space as where your chain comes out of. So we're going to do three double crochets right in this hole right here. Ready? Three. Right here. Here's two. And here's the third. Perfect. Boom. Love it. Okay. Now we are going to do double crochets in each stitch so one double crochet in each of these until we get to the stitch marker so just do your double crochets all the way down the line when you get to the stitch that has your stitch marker in it you're going to place five double crochets in this stitch so i'm going to remove my stitch marker and i'm going to do five double crochets in that next stitch one, two, three, four, 
and 5. And now, before I move on, I'm going to go ahead and mark the centermost of those five because it, it's you don't have to, but it helps a lot when you keep going. So that is the centermost stitch of those five that I just put in that um, point there. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to double crochet all the way down this side. Easy peasy. Double crochet. The last stitch is going to go right into that last stitch here. And now we are going to place two double crochets in the same as starting. So you're going to find these three again. See how these three are all coming out of this hole right here? We're going to put two more right in that same hole. One, two. And now we are going to join to the top of the first actual double crochet of that row. So this one right here, right here. Slip stitch to join that row. Now we're going to start row three. So we're going to chain two, turn to where you're looking at the back side, and now we're going to place our three double crochets in the same space as where we joined. So three right here. And now once we get these three in, we're going to work all the way down to the stitch marker like we did in row two. So I've got those three, now I'm going to start right in with that next stitch and just go all the way down until I get to that stitch marker. And when I get to the stitch marker, I'm going to place five in there and then move that stitch marker up and then work up the other side over here and join. So literally we're just going back and forth and adding and building on to this oval until it's as wide as we want it to be and then we'll do our armholes. Okay, now I am to where my stitch marker is. So now I'm going to remove that stitch marker and place five double crochets in that same stitch. Now that I've got my five, I'm gonna mark the centermost stitch there and I'm going to continue my double crochets all the way to the join over here. And there was my last stitch of the row that goes into that last actual stitch. And now to end this row, I'm going to place two double crochets in the same space that I placed the first three of the row. I've got those two done, so now I'm gonna slip stitch to the top of the first actual double crochet right here slip stitch. And that honestly is all you're going to do. You're going to continue adding rows like this back and forth um, until you get as many rows as I tell you to before you get to the armhole row. So for the newborn size we've already got three rows and we only need to go to five before we start our armholes. So here's row one, here's row two, here's row three. I'm going to stop the camera and I'm going to crochet row four and five the same exact way that I've done these already and then we'll hook back up to start the armholes together. So here I am at the end of row five and you're going to want to make sure that you are going to the correct row number for the size that you're making of course but it's going to have this funky looking oval shape with the slit in the middle. This is your neck opening, okay? So what it's going to look like when we're done, where your stitch marker is, is the point in the front. So what it's going to look like is like this. And this will be your v-neck and then we're going to add the sleeves on over here, right? So when you get done with the yoke portion of your poncho, you are ready to start the armhole rows. So the first thing I want you to do is make sure that your stitch count is correct on the last row before starting the armhole rows. Um, that would be a nightmare trying to figure out if it's not, so do yourself a favor and make sure that, that stitch count is correct. To start your armhole rows, it's important to note that from here on out, the centers are no longer five stitches, they're three. So make sure that you pay attention to that. To start your armhole row, you are going to chain two, turn to where you're looking at the back, and instead of placing three double crochets, from now on you're just going to place two in the beginning. So I'm gonna place two double crochets right where I started that chain and now check your size for the pattern size that you're making and see how many um, stitches you need to double crochet into. So for the newborn size, I need to go for 12 stitches before I start my armhole. So I'm gonna go one, two, three,
11 and 12. Perfect. So we've got 12 stitches um, to start before we do our arm hole. So now you're going to do a chain for your underarm and however many you chain depends on the size that you're making. So for the newborn size here I'm going to do a chain one. Now I'm going to skip however many it says on the newborn size I need to skip 16 stitches. So I'm going to skip 16 and then do a double crochet in the 17th. Okay, so I'm going to skip 16. There's 16, so now I'm going to double crochet into the 17th right here. So I'm going to kind of reposition my working yarn and I'm going to double crochet right into that 17th stitch. This you might need to kind of make sure it's tight enough because it might loosen up. Um, the way that you're holding your hook to make all these skipped stitches. Okay, so here is an armhole. Okay, so now you've done a double crochet in this one. You're going to double crochet in each stitch until you get to that marked stitch again. So double crochet all the way down. I'm going to remove that stitch marker and I'm going to place three double crochets in that point because remember we changed from five to three in the armhole row and that's for all sizes. So now I'm going to go three in here. I am still going to mark my centermost stitch. It just makes things easier in the long run. So now you've marked your double crochets in the center here. Now we are going to do 12 more and then another armhole. So one, all the way to 12. Eleven and twelve. So now we're going to do our chain for this size. I chain one, and then we're going to do a double crochet. You're going to skip sixteen stitches. However many you skipped on the other side is how many you're going to skip on this side. So one, two, three. Go into that seventeenth stitch. Might have to tighten up your yarn again. For some reason, mine likes to get really loose when I do this first double crochet here, so kind of have to reposition. And now we're going to double crochet in the rest of these stitches, and then we're going to do our join that we normally do. So double crochet in the rest of these stitches. Now that I've gotten to the end, I only placed two stitches in the front in the first one here. So remember how we changed to three? I'm going to do one more so that I have three in the back and three in the front. So I'm going to place one double crochet in the same as where I started this row right here. Just one. And now I'm going to join. So now we are done with the armhole row. Let's take a look. I know this is so adorable. It's the newborn size. Obviously it's tiny, but I love looking at them because they're so freaking cute. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> okay, so now we are going to start the body of the poncho. So, um... Make sure that your stitch count is correct at the end of your armhole row and get ready for the body, okay? So for the body, we're gonna basically do the same thing that we were doing for the very um, top here in that we're going to chain two, we're gonna turn, and since we're past the armhole, we're only gonna do put or do two in that first space. But I'm gonna go ahead and place my two first double crochets in that same as join. And now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna double crochet in each one over till this stitch marker. So I'm gonna go all the way to the stitch marker. When you do your underarm stitch, um, however many you chained, um, it depends on what size you're making as to how many you chain, but you do want to place one double crochet in each of the chains that is underneath the arm. So if you have more than one, you want to make sure that you're doing 
a stitch in each one of those chains. Okay, so here I am with my chain. I'm going to go right into that chain. And now I'm going to continue going into these stitches all the way to the end where that stitch marker is. And when you get to this stitch marker here, you're going to put three there. Remember, since we changed to three, you're going to put three in that center point. Mark it. Maybe. And do the same thing until you get to the end again. The number of rows that you do in this portion um, depends on the size that you're making. So for the first row under the arms for the newborn size, I'm only going to do one row like this. The larger the sizes go, the more you're going to do of this. So do however many rows that you need to after the armhole row as stated in the size that you're making. I sound like a broken record, but it's important to check and double check that you're making the correct, that you're, you know, going for the right amount of rows. When you get to the end, you're going to put one more in the same as your starting stitches over here and join. Now, read your pattern size that you're making. You might need to do more of these rows that are just back and forth and back and forth, um, depending on what size you're making. So now, for the rest of the newborn size, we are almost done. Isn't that ridiculous, ridiculously fast? I love it. Now that I've joined, I'm going to start doing my decrease rows, okay? And this is the same for all sizes. You're going to have decrease rows at the end um, of your body. So to do those, you're going to chain two, turn like normal. We're going to place two double crochets in the first, or in the same as join, and then read the pattern for the size that you're making. For this size here, I'm going to do 12 stitches. 11 and 12. Now when you've done those stitches, as many as it says for your size, you should end up under the armhole here. What you're going to do next, you're going to double crochet these two together. You're going to double crochet one time in the center right there under your armhole. Regular double crochet. And now we're going to do double crochet two together in these next two stitches. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull through two, and then pull through all of them. And now you're going to double crochet until you get to the uh, stitch marker again. When you get there, remove that and do three in the front point. Mark it. And do the same thing. We're going to count to 12, or however many for your size. There's 10, 11, and 12. Now, now that we're back to the underarm, we're going to double crochet two together here. Double crochet one time in the next, and then double crochet two together in the next two stitches. Double crochet all the way to the end of the row. When you get there, put that one in the same as the starting, and join to the top of the first DC. Okay, now for the rest of the entire pattern, all you're going to be doing is that decrease row all over and over and over again until you get the length of your body, okay? So we're, I'm going to do one more row with you, um, and then you're literally just going to continue this row until you finished with your poncho, okay? So, or the body of your poncho. So I'm going to do two in that first again. Remember from the armhole rows down, it's only two in the first. 
So now I'm going to count to 12, 12 double crochets. Okay, let's take a look here. So I want to make sure that we understand where we are placing those double crochet decreases. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got a decrease here and a decrease here. Those are our decreases from the last row. Let me use my hook, it might be better. So this is a decrease and then this is a decrease. On these rows after, you're going to place decreases on top of decreases for the rest of the pattern. So you're going to place a decrease on this stitch and this stitch and then this single crochet or the single um, standalone, I guess I should say solo, um, double crochet in the middle is always going to line up. So you're always going to have that double crochet on top of that double crochet, on top of that double crochet, and then your decreases will fall to either side of that single or that solo double crochet. Okay, so let's zoom back out. And I'm going to place those decreases on either side of that standalone double crochet. So I'm going to do a decrease in these two stitches, a double crochet in the top of that standalone double crochet, and then a decrease over these two stitches. Double crochet, two together. Now I'm going to double crochet until I get to the stitch marker. Now that I'm at the stitch marker, I'm going to place three right there. Replace my marker and continue. So I'm going to go to for 12 stitches until I do my decreases. So now that I've made it to my underarm section, I'm going to double crochet these two together. Double crochet one time in that standalone double crochet. And then I'm going to double crochet two together again. And this is going to be the remainder of the body of the pattern. So continue crocheting for as many rows as designated in the size that you're making. If you want to make yours shorter or if you want to make yours longer, you have creative license to do so. You can make it into a floor length dress if you want to. Just continue this row that we're doing right here over and over and over. Alright, so I have finished the entire body of the newborn size of the On Point Poncho. This is a full 17 rows. When you get done, you're just going to fasten off and weave in all of your ends just like normal. And now we are ready to add the sleeves. Of course, if you want to leave it sleeveless, that's really cute too. That's fine. It gives natural little cap sleeves, especially for the larger sizes. It comes down a little bit, so it's got a cute little effect. To add the sleeves, you're going to want to look at the underarm, right? this underarm portion right here, depending on the size that you're making, you're either going to be looking at the outside of the cardigan of the poncho or you're going to be looking at the inside, okay, to start that first row. And the difference here is your arm hole row, um, whether you were working this direction or this direction, whether it was an even numbered row or an odd numbered row, you want to start the opposite to make sure that you don't have two rows running in the same direction. So definitely check the size that you are making. For the newborn size, I am going to start at the inside of the cardigan. How you can tell easily which one is the, outs or the outside and the inside, let's zoom in here and I'll show you. So you can tell that this is um, row number one. You look at row number one and this is worked. This is the front of that stitch. And then row number two, these are the back of those stitches since we turned. And then row three, this is the front of those stitches. So if you want to, at the very beginning of your cardigan while you're, or your, of your poncho while you're making the, um, the beginning here. After you finish row one, you could put a safety pin or something else on the front side of this um, row to, to mark your right side from your wrong side. Otherwise, um, if you can tell the difference just by looking at it, that, that's even better. But it will help if you mark it at the end of row one. Okay, so we are going to look at our armhole opening, okay? And I'm going to insert my hook looking at the inside of this sleeve. I'm just going to insert my hook right here. I'm going to pull up a loop 
so I can attach my yarn, right? Now, to start these sleeves, we are going to chain two, and we're gonna do a double crochet in the same space as where we joined. And now for this next portion here, it is different for each size that you're making. If you look closely here, you can see that there is a side of a double crochet here. This is the side of that double crochet from the last row before the armholes, or the, the last row of the armhole before you started skipping all of these stitches. So you're going to either work, follow the size that you're making, but you're either going to work two double crochets up the side of this double crochet, or if you're making the child sizes, you're going to do a double crochet two together over this double crochet right here. And then you're going to make sure that the next stitch that you do goes into an actual stitch right here. So if you can, let's zoom in a little bit because I wanna make sure we're clear here. So here we've done our first stitch of this row. So this double crochet right here is the side of that stitch, right? That's the double crochet that we're going to go either around twice, so once here and once here, or you can do it once here and once here. It doesn't really matter, however you wanna do it, as long as you are covering this double crochet right here, okay? And then your next stitch is going to go into this actual stitch right here. So this is one of the ones that we skipped when we created our armhole. So I'm going to um, go ahead and crochet. Since this is a child size, we're going to do a double crochet two together up the side of this double crochet. So I'm going to insert my hook and pull up a loop. I'm going to yarn over and pull through two. And then I'm going to yarn over and go into this stitch here and pull up a loop and I'm going to complete that double crochet two together. Now I'm ready to go into each of these actual stitches around the armhole and then when we get over here we're going to do another double crochet two together. Okay. On the adult sizes you place those two around that stitch. It just how it worked out for how we needed how many stitches for the sleeves. So now I'm double crocheting in each of these stitches around this armhole. Okay, now when we get over here, you're gonna want to look and see where the last actual stitch is, right? So I just went into the last actual stitch of that row. The next one that we're going to work around is going to be this double crochet, which is the side of the double crochet from the armhole row, right? So this is the last actual stitch we have. And now I'm going to place a double crochet two together up these two and join to the top of my first actual stitch. Double crochet two together here and you can place it here or here, it doesn't really matter. Um, I will say that when I do my sleeves, I like to leave a little bit of a longer tail here so that when I'm done, I can use that tail to cinch up any holes that I have at the bottom of my armhole, but um, it shouldn't be too bad just like we're doing. So I'm gonna slip stitch to the top of that first actual double crochet, and now we have this adorable little armhole, right? So that is the first row of the sleeve. Okay, so we just go all the way around. I do highly, highly, highly recommend counting your stitches at the end of this row because of the placement. Um, when you're going up the sides of those double crochets, you really need to make sure that you have the correct number of stitches. So to start your second row of the sleeve, you're gonna chain two and you're going to turn. So I've already done that here when I went to look at it. Now I am going to double crochet two together. So I'm gonna use these two stitches, this one and this one, and I'm going to double crochet two together. And we're gonna start shaping this sleeve. So there's my decrease. And now I'm just going to double crochet in each stitch around and join to the top of that decrease that I just made. Here's my last stitch. I'm gonna go right here and place that last double crochet right in that last stitch. Now I'm going to join to the top of that decrease that I made at the beginning of this row. So slip stitch to the top of that double crochet. 
Now to start row three, we are going to chain two and turn. And I'm just going to place one double crochet evenly around this entire arm opening. So this is no decreases, no increases, no nothing. We're just adding one solid row of double crochet stitches. Now that I'm all the way back, I'm going to join to the top of that actual double crochet. And now I'm ready for row four. I'm going to chain two and turn to start that new row. And now I'm going to do a decrease row, but in order to keep the seam from moving one direction or the other, since I placed a decrease on this side of row two, now I'm going to place the decrease on this side of the row on row four, right? So we have a decrease on this side, and then a decrease on this side, and then a decrease on this side, and a decrease on this side. Of course, how many rows you do is dependent on the size that you're making, but the general um, makeup of these sleeves um, is the same and that keeps that seam from migrating and it helps it just keep it a nice clean looking seam at the bottom of your underarm. So I'm going to go all the way around and then in those last two stitches I'll place a decrease over those two. Okay so when I get to the end here I've got these last two stitches I'm going to do a decrease in those two. Double crochet two together join to the top of that first actual double crochet. Now we're, I'm going to chain two and turn. And this is an odd numbered row, so it's going to be just flat double crochet all the way around. No decreases, no nothing, just double crochets. So the even numbered rows are ones that you decrease on. And remember the decrease jumps from side of the seam to side of the seam. And then the odd numbered rows are just flat out double crochet, no decreases or anything else. join to the top of the first double crochet. And now since this is the newborn size, my sleeve is done. If you ha are making a larger size than newborn, <laughs> isn't that adorable? If you're making a size larger than newborn, you are just going to complete that sequence over and over and over until for however many rows. Um, if you wanna make yours longer, that's okay. You can make yours as long as you want it to be. If you want your sleeve to be longer or shorter. Um, let's see what I did here. Now, to do the very last row of your sleeve, you're going to chain one and turn, and you're just gonna single crochet just to give it a cleaner edge. If you wanna do a reverse single crochet, which is also known as the crab stitch, that looks pretty too doesn't really matter you can do that if you want to I just do the single crochet because I think it's nice and clean and simple looking um, if you wanted to do a pico border or something else like that you could do that also so some creative license so I'm just going to place these single crochets all the way around and when I get to the end here, um, I would normally join to the top of this first single crochet, but since it's the end of a sleeve and we are working in a round, I'm going to go ahead and clip my yarn and I'm going to do an invisible join. It's my favorite um, method for fastening off when I'm working in rounds instead of rows. So as you can see, I pulled that yarn straight right through that stitch, right? Let me zoom in a little bit and we will do this invisible join. Okay, so what you're doing is you've pulled this yarn straight out of the top of that stitch. Now you're going to go third your needle and go find the first stitch of that row. You're going to insert your in needle from front to back all the way through. And now you're going to kind of pull it forward and pinch it, not pinch it, but hold it down with your thumb. And now you're going to take your needle and see where this is coming out of this stitch right here. You're going to go back into that towards the back side. So you're only picking up that back loop of that stitch. And now pull it like this, and now you've got this that looks like a V instead of just a big old glaring knot where you fastened off and everything else. So now I'm going to kind of turn that inside out, and I'm going to just weave in this end, and we are done with our sleeve. So this is really all there is to the On Point Poncho. It's actually probably one of the easiest patterns ever. The most important thing um, that I've noticed is that you need to make sure that you are counting, especially that armhole row. And then after that, 
it's pretty smooth sailing. So if you have any issues at all with this pattern or with understanding it or, or anything else, um, feel free to shoot me an email, um, ashley at hearthookhome.com, and I would be happy to help you through the pattern. I really don't think you'll need it, though, because it is pretty simple and very, very quick and a very easy work up. So I will add this second sleeve and I will show this off in my next live video on the Heart Hook Home Facebook page. So thanks for watching. I hope you love your on point ponchos in all the sizes that you choose to make. And I look forward to creating more with you in the future. Thank you for watching.